come back. It's a syndicate sim. Gamer76. I know it's been not even a week, but hey, I'm back with an unboxing. As you can see, I had my mouse in the way. We'll just move the mouse right out of the way. There we go. And what we're going to unbox is the Hyperkin Xbox One Windows 10 S Wheel. Um, it's got bad ratings. A lot of people are saying they break easily. And I'm wondering if that's because they're a little bit um, dangerous with it. You know, they're, they're not very, they're rough playing with it. So I figured I would give it a shot. Um, it's on sale right now for $80 roughly through Amazon. So I said, hey, I'm going to pick this bad boy up and see what it's like. And thankfully, Amazon has a very good return policy. So if something does go bad, we'll replace it. Um, it does come with Game Pass, but they do it did expire, unfortunately. So I think that's pretty crappy. Um, I don't know what to do. Uh, maybe I'll try to get, you know, Xbox to give me the Game Pass. Or see if Hyperkin will give me an extra one down the road. So this is the front. Very, here's the wheel. Uh, the cool Hyperkin logo that's always in shiny but embossed lettering. Um, this does supposedly work with the Xbox Series X and S. We will be trying it later, but not in this video. We will be trying it in a different video when I review it. So, here it is. Xbox, Xbox One, Windows 10, S wheel. And it talks about, it and it's wireless. Xbox wireless. So, um, that's that. On the side, it just tells you it's wireless and, uh, Just some details. If you guys want to read it, you know, take a photo, pause it here, check it out. On the back, it shows the wheel um, and all your information here. Again, if you want to read it, you guys can pause it. It's no big deal. This means it's wireless. And on this side, it just talks about 100 games, a Game Pass. And like I said, from what I understand, is the Game Pass codes are expired. Which is pretty lame that they put expiration date on it because if they're going to sell this and people buy it up for that two months, it should come with the two months. So as you can see, it's sealed all the way around the box. And as you heard earlier, I opened up my utility knife because I don't know where any of my box opening knives are since I moved. Uh, I still have an unpacked from all that from a year ago. But we're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. All right, let's close that up so we don't get any dangerous stabby stabby okay is it coming is it releasing itself from the bottom yeah, it is it's just taking a while you guys gals because when I got a thing called suction so we'll move that there Ooh, interesting way of packaging it it's got nice foam on top you see the Xbox logo right there you see your Y B A X and of course, your D pad, tell you your start, capture, no, start, and a little thumbstick up here. Oh, that is so cute. Let's open it up and then see it. It's, I always like Hyper King because it's always got this neat, they always do this neat um, presentation when you open up their stuff. So we'll take this, put this over here for now, check the other goodies USB cable for charging. Um, however, they don't give you a charging brick, but who doesn't have a million of them laying around? I don't actually. I keep breaking mine. And then, of course, you got your awesome charging stand for it. There we go. Too bad the camera quality. My, 10, my 1080p is really going dead, so I'm trying to show you guys everything. Um, I don't know if there's a book or anything. Oh, yep, there's a book right here on the side. We'll take this, put this to the side. So you do get a manual. It's a little manual. And two to one, there's a Hyperkin sticker in here because they always throw Hyperkin stickers in everywhere. Um, every Retron I get, every controller I got, it had a Hyperkin sticker. Oh, no, nope, that is my two months game pass. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys that. This is the user manual and no sticker hyperkin. What the hell? Man, how am I supposed to show my pride? Anyway, who cares about that? I'm going to take my 
the game pass away. Okay, one, only one thing is the game pass. And um, it expired the 31st of 2019. I thought I'm going to try to get it to work. Okay, so this just tells you, before powering off your Xbox One, we kindly ask that you dock your S wheel and include a charging dock. Thank you. Okay, so basically what they want is this to go to sleep before you turn your, your, your Xbox off. Okay, like I said, there's your manual. Uh, we don't need that right now because we're not pairing it up. That's why I'm not going to, what do you call it, because I know the battery's dead in here. That's why I'm not going to hook it up right away. Play. Okay, well. Let me put this away with the game pass. Yeah, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. So let's take a look at this. So we got the charger here. Um, this hyperkin up here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it says hyperkin. There you go. Light. Uh, it's got your charging there. It's got lineup pins for it. It's made out of that rubbery uh, plastic. So it looks good. Feet non-slip. Pretty good there. It must be a slot that this leans into, slides into. And of course, that's where your USB goes in. Um, it looks like, mm, looks like they're using C, USB-C. Let's see what we got on the cord here. And it is confirmed that it is C. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, let's see how long length of USB cable they give us. Probably about a six footer. That's what you normally you get. You know, usually their controllers come with like a eight footer. There's a power A, power A does. Okay, so you, basically your your standard through six feet, not even. They give you a three foot cable for charging. Come on, Hyperkin. Learn something from Elgato. They give you long ass cables. You you guys always shortchange. I don't get that. Anyway, let's see. We can twisty tie this together real quick so I just don't have to futz with it later. Alright, put that back in the bag. And then let's look at what we all came here for. The steering wheel. Okay, that's pretty that's pretty light. And it's got rubber texture, so it does, isn't what you call it. Okay, metal. These are actually metal. So it is amazing. Um I think these are your LB and RA, or whatever they call them. I don't remember what they are on the Xbox controller. Just know what to press nowadays. Uh, like I said, you got your Y, B, A, X. You have your select button, I believe. I can't read it. It's too glossy. And your start, maybe. Like I said, you got a little controller here. A little stick, your B button. Um, this is your pairing. Yeah, this is your start and select, maybe. I don't know. These are top and bottom buttons. I don't know. Kind of like that. Start, select, whatever. And your A button. Now, you could race like this, or you can mount it to a tripod. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use. Because you can still buy these. I found them on Amazon. If I can find a link, I will. And I'll place it beneath. But this is a camera tripod for clamping onto surfaces like uh, desks, um, shelving, pipes, whatever. And uh, it's adjustable just by doing this. So if you want, you know, when you're driving, you can do this. Okay, this would attach to the to your whatever surface you're using for driving, and then you set this up just like that, like the way you want it, and then you tighten the screw here, key screw, whatever you want to call it. And boom. probably need it a little jacked up and then you as you can see it's got a little angle like a real steering wheel and then you mount this on here 
guess it should. It's supposed to mount on the standard tripod screw. Okay, there we go. Right, and as you know, you can, there's a, usually a thing on the bottom. Tighten it up. And then, it's supposed to just steer it, I guess. So that's how it would look being mounted on your tripod. So there you guys have it. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a review on it down the road. Because like I said, it's probably not even charged yet. And I want it to be charged so I can play for a while. And give you guys my honest opinion about the controller steering wheel. So, with that being said, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing. It just tells me that you like my videos and more are coming down on the way. Ones could be really interesting and uh, hopefully be starting that pretty soon. And, of course, I do a lot of unboxings. I've been starting to upload some gameplay. So, you know, you need to know when that's all coming up and when it's loaded, uploaded. So, everybody who is either subscribed and don't, if, if they haven't done it yet, or new people, new subscribers, hit that notification bell so you know when the new videos are up and available to watch. Thanks again. Have a good one. And remember, everybody... Keep your controllers charged.